hi guys welcome again to my channel how are you guys doing today so the video you are about to watch is the former governor of lagos state babatsunde fashola where he spoke about um economy of nigeria and the covid uh, vaccination is about to arrive in Nigeria and all that so I brought this video for you to hear from the horse's mouth so my beautiful people in case you have not subscribed to my channel please consider to do so by hitting that red button below that says subscribe beside it there's a notification bell the essence of that bell is for you to get notified or update each time i upload a new video so you will be the first to check it out if you have done that may almighty god bless you and for my returning subscribers i say may almighty god bless you abundantly for coming by to support this channel each time i upload a new video you always come across to check it i say thank you to you guys so my lovely people you will soon watch the video don't forget to share this video like and comment to this video remain blessed as you watch the video until you hear from me or see me in my next video bye bye the nigerian economy is moving away from jobs in the office it's moving to an expansion of infrastructure creation of infrastructure repair and maintain of infrastructure so it's going to need manpower in those areas it's going to need more quarry more bitumen more asphalt more engineering consultant for design for supervision the nigerian economy is moving to uh, agri is going to need packaging freezing transportation heating we have a COVID challenge, a vaccine is coming, we must prepare to distribute it. It will arrive sometime in a refrigerated air portion of an aircraft. How does it leave that place and get to the local government, to the ordinary people in our wards, in our local governments, in a way that the refrigeration is preserved? That is an entrepreneurial opportunity for cooling apparatus. The transport system is a logistic operation, it's a business. We will need syringes and needles to administer these, these vaccines. Are we going to import them or are we going to play in that role? So if we are needing just 50 million syringes, that's big business. Are we playing there? We are going to need swabs to clean, to administer. All the swabs, the syringes, the needles used will become medical waste. How do we dispose of that? That's a business. So these are some of the issues, just to redirect the, 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 the focus to what is changing around the world. So the businesses we knew before, some of them are going to go. Some of them are going to underperform, but new businesses are going to overperform. Te Telecoms-based businesses, Zoom and their likes, so there has to be a competitor for Zoom. Why can't we make our own Zoom? locally so these are these are the issues i tried i try to discuss and highlight and focus attention on so the the possibilities are endless the economy is changing where we have more universities today 170 than we had in 1970 when we had only about six or seven so at that time it was fine to have graduates being recruited from university now we're having more graduates than the economy is going so we need to grow that economy are you not saying the importation of COVID-19 vaccine will create more businesses for Nigeria? It is creating economies, okay. it is creating opportunities while it is damaging opportunities. Mm -hmm. The conventional businesses, restaurants, flying, hotels, go and ask them, they're suffering. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, other businesses have emerged. The mask you are wearing is somebody's job. The one I'm wearing is somebody's job. The sanitizer in my pocket, somebody manufactured it. So one person's loss is another person's gain. So those who are adaptive, who are flexible, who can imagine, who can innovate, can change their businesses and also create new ones.